Welcome to Menu Classique from Pete's Pans, the greatest dishes of the classic French repertoire. So this series complements Pete's Pans' travel reports, but features the national dishes of France rather than the more local-style dishes of Pete's Pans. For dinner tonight, pigeon au petit pois, pigeon or squab with peas. In 1911, Picasso had a go at representing the dish. Opinions vary as to whether his Cubist vision, valued at $20 million, does it justice. Hmm. In any case, it was stolen in 2010 and has never been seen since. Squab refers to a young, tender, domesticated pigeon, so it doesn't require the long cooking that a mature, wild pigeon would. So now, let's be generous. One plump pigeon per person. Try to acquire with their guts as well as the neck and wings, as we'll use these to make a stock for the sauce. Here's some salted pork belly for the lardon. A slab of bacon could also be used. The vegetables are simply half an onion, a carrot, a bouquet of bay and thyme, and a single clove of garlic. For the peas, note that medium-sized peas should be chosen. Frozen ones are just fine. Tiny peas are too tender for this recipe, and large peas have a thick skin that won't cook well in the limited cooking period. Today we have the luxury of using duck fat, so typical particularly in the southwest of France. However, oil, butter, or a mixture of both would be used in other regions, entirely up to the cook. A small glass of white wine, extra points if it's French, but anything dry and drinkable. Cheers. And some chicken stock, or perhaps bouillon from the pot au feu, the national staple that was very often available in old-fashioned home kitchens. Note that we'll be making our own stock with the pigeon giblets and wings, so we won't be needing this. The wings are removed at the first joint. And then the wishbone. This just makes carving easier, just like when we roast a chicken. The liver and the heart are used for the stock too. The gizzard can also be used if one can be bothered to, to clean it if it's grit. The usual stock vegetables are added to the giblets, onion, carrot, celery and leek, along with a bouquet of herbs and peppercorns. Just barely cover it as we won't need very much stock. The birds are seasoned very generously inside and out. They're trussed so that they keep a nice compact form in the pot, though trussing isn't strictly necessary.
Now they're browned all over in a good dollop of fat. As I said, oil or butter are fine too. The onions are sliced, the bacon and the carrots diced, and the garlic minced. Always remember to season vegetables as they sweat. The salt really does help the process along. When the vegetables have softened up somewhat, the garlic is added along with the herbs. The wine is reduced down by half and then some of the pigeon bouillon is strained in. This is allowed to cook down for a few minutes, at which point the peas are incorporated and the liquid brought back to a boil. Then the pigeons go back in with a little bit of juice they released while standing. Once it's returned to the boil, the heat should be turned to low. The sauce must continue to boil in a rather lively fashion, but not excessively. Bearing in mind that young squabs are cooked medium rare, that's to say slightly pink, 20 minutes in the pot are plenty. As with all meats, allow the birds to rest for a few minutes in a warm place. They'll be far more tender as a result. This will allow us time to quickly reduce the sauce if need be, but only if it appears a little too diluted. If you'd like the sauce to be slightly thickened, you can swirl in a knob of butter, being cautious not to reboil it once added. Do remember to check the seasoning before serving. So you can see here the legs are carved off before serving and the breast is removed, cutting down through the joint to leave the wing attached. Now, if you really want to make a Frenchman tear up with nostalgia of the food of his upbringing, this is a good dish to try. Don't expect the peas to be bright green as the, as the English expect. 
The French, by and large, like their peas cooked to a tasty olive green. Neither way is more correct, but in this instance, I urge you to try the French way. Bon appétit et large soif. <laughs>